Hey guys, and in today's video, I will be reviewing the Party City slash Halloween City um, Three Foot Bloody Ghost Boy. So let's get into it. So this guy was sold for $100 at Party City and Halloween City um, for, the, for the 2023 Halloween season. So this, so this particular ghost represents a three foot boy holding a pumpkin bag for trick-or-treating for candy. Um, he's wearing a white sheet. He's wearing um, black shoes. The black shoes are also from the limb eating zombie boy. Right off the bat, right, right off the back, you can see um, blood, blood tears coming down from his eyes and some blood on his on his uh, white sheet so this particular guy honestly is my favorite anim animatronic that i have in my collection and there's a there's one reason why he's my favorite so back in 2021 when the movie halloween kills came out um they were they had done like a few behind the scenes videos and you could search it up on youtube yourself um the video was was halloween kills behind the scenes and there was interview they were interviewing uh jamie lee curtis um kyle richards um james jude courtney all of that and throughout the video you see um michael myers doing his stuff in the scenes um, the cast members were talking. So when all of that was going on, um, they had background music playing. And the background music was like, it was like a Michael Myers type of movie music. So I going, so two years after that, after that movie came out, um, Party City comes out with this particular animatronic. And right off the back, I remember his stock images were leaked, and I loved him as is. He was $100, three feet tall. I still like them. Like, his looks alone were just amazing. Then, um, I would say, like, maybe a month later or less, um, Party City um, did their live stream video. And they were showing off all of their animatronics that they had. And they showed him, and when I heard the audio, <clears throat> I couldn't believe the audio that, that he was playing. And it's the same audio from Halloween Kills, behind the scenes video. And the song is called The Shape. The Shape. I forgot who's it from, but it's called that. And it's on YouTube as well. You can search it up, The Shape, and it should, it should pop up. And, um... It's legit, like Techie Design literally used that audio um, for this particular animatronic, and that's what made me want to buy him 10 times more. Like, there's people who are 50-50 with him because of the price, $100 for a three-foot prop. Like, this ghost was sold at Lowe's for in, I think, 2020, 20, 2019, or 2021, I forgot the year. But he was sold for like $39, I believe. Compare $39 to $100. He moves side to side. The face lights up. The pumpkin lights up. And he plays ghost audio. He get, he plays W. Wraith's audio. He only moves side to side. Eyes light up. And that's it. Audio. $39, $100. However, he is made slightly better than this one. He's also from Techie Design. He actually has a bass. And a volume control. He could use it. He could be used with an adapter. This one is only battery operated. And he only has like these normal feet in the bottom. That are very unstable. I really hate them. They're very unstable. They should have done the base. But anyways. For $100. I think it's worth it. Better quality. And you don't have to worry about him falling or breaking. To be honest, his ghost, I really don't see him breaking anytime soon. He only has a simple side-to-side -side movement, and that's it. And um, the audio quality has been one of my favorites because it's so loud and clear. Like, literally, my room, I could hear it from, like, across my house. It's so loud. 
and extremely clear. One of the best volumes ever. So um, that's all I have to say about him. People are like 50-50 with this guy. They either like him or hate him. Me, I love him. So what we have here is a face. He does have an actual face under the sheet. However, it's glued and stuff, so I can't really show it. <clears throat> but um, there's a hand. His eyeballs are amazing. They're a little bit dusty. His eyeballs are truly amazing, very, very realistic. I think they light up yellow. He has blood tears coming down from the sheet. He has blood on his um, white sheet. This is his pumpkin bag for trick or treating. The sensor is in here. I've always wondered. Yeah, you could, you could actually put stuff in here to, to make the bag look more realistic, more more realistic. The sensor is right there. It's right there. Um, these are the shoes. Shoes are very good too. And yeah, setup was very very easy. Like, very simple. Nothing hard. And then let me show the back. The back is where the volume control is, right here. And you can plug in charming button, step pad, whatever, adapter. Batteries are right there, volume control, on and off, and foot pad. So that's him. What I'm gonna do now is turn him on so you can see him in action. Keep in mind, the audio, the volume is turned up all the way. It's very loud. So keep in mind also, um, he still has his batteries from Halloween. So they're pretty used, but they're still going strong. But like, look at that. Look how amazing. Like, that goes next to Michael. Damn, amazing. Truly love him. I'm going to activate him one more time. Well, he should go off on his own. So... This, so, all right, guys. So, this is my review on the three foot bloody ghost boy from Party City and Halloween City. I, I really hope you guys um, enjoy this review. And yeah, um, he's as of now sold out. Well, he's been sold out since after Halloween at Party City. However, on Mercari, he's been popping up for a decent amount of money. Like maybe around the hundreds, eighty dollars around there, and if you do find one cheap, um, I really do recommend you buy him if you really love him. Um, keep in mind, he plays 
the the audio that he plays is from a Michael movie. Not in the actual movie, <clears throat> but like it was used in the behind the scenes. So I would just <clears throat> I mainly bought him not just for the looks but for the audio. So if you do find one decently cheap, um I really do recommend you buy him because he's a perfect co collectible, perfect animatronic to have. <coughs> Sorry. Um He's not too scary or anything. Like, maybe the kids would probably be a little bit scared of him because of the whole blood and everything going on. But he's just a generic ghost that literally doesn't need... He doesn't need to be, like, dramatically, like, done. Like, he is so simple. He is so simple. And at the same time, he is somewhat scary. If you put him somewhere in the dark moving side to side like that and the and those and those eyes lighting up he'll do the job perfectly so yeah this is the end of the review for bloody ghost boy and if you find him buy him i really do recommend them